What is up guys, Rick Akis here, and this is all of the different ways how to get gold exotic gear in Desi. Not everyone has been no-lifing the crap out of this game, so people are still confused with how the loot system works. So let's get into it. Now before I get my list, there's going to be a list of things from easiest to hardest ways to get exotics. There's kind of a pseudo number one that which precedes all of the list. It isn't how to get exotics, but it makes all of these things on the list basically doubles your chances of getting exotics and that is make a second character that is phenomenally important if you're rocking just one character if you have like a level 27 hunter and that's it i would extremely recommend finding your least favorite class if you know you're not going to make a titan and then don't that's the guy you're not going to make make another hunter so if you have two hunters why that's extremely important is because if you get your new hunter to level 20 you can just transfer all of your armor from the original your main character to your new character and he's going to be essentially the exact same character because how you get past level 20 is just through gear now this is going to be extremely important and you'll realize why in a bit now the number one easiest way to get gold gear in the game is to buy it from Zer. Zer, Agent of the Nine, is going to be, uh, he appears in the tower in a random location and no reason other than to, to annoy us, that's why he's random, but he sells three gold armor pieces, one for each class, also he sells a gold weapon, and a gold engram. Now the gold engram you buy with motes of light, but everything else you buy with strange coins. How do you get strange coins? Well, the easiest way is to do the weekly. If you beat it on 22, you get 3. If you beat it on 26, you get uh, 6. And if you beat it on 28, you get 9 strange coins. Now, you can only do the weekly once per week per character. So, if I do the weekly, like I have a 29 Titan, a 28 Hunter, and a 27 Warlock. If I complete it on my level 29 titan on 28 i get nine strange coins what i can do is i can just switch to my 28 hunter do it again and get another nine strange coins that's why it's so important to have two characters you are literally doubling your uh income of strange coins by having a second character and again especially if you can make one of the same exact class you can just transfer all your gear and do it again with essentially the exact same character now you also get strange coins just randomly, either by decoding blue engrams, you get them sometimes as random rewards in strikes or crucible matches, and you can also get them as a reward for completing a public event on uh, gold difficulty, or sorry, a gold rating for completing it. Now the next most common way you're probably going to get an exotic is the raid. There's two points specifically in the raid where you have a very high chance of getting exotic. Firstly, there is kind of a hidden chest, which this chest either rewards you with ascendant materials, it can also give you a legendary class armor, and it has a pretty darn high chance of giving people exotics. Now people say that all of the chests that give ascendant materials have a chance to give exotics. I have never seen that except for this one chest. This one chest definitely has a better chance than than normal. Now, the other part during the raid is at the final boss fight when you beat the raid entirely, the rewards often are gold weapons. I've seen people get the Mita multi tool and a few other golds from beating the entire raid. Now, the third most common way you're going to get an exotic is the Nightfall. So, the Nightfall is going to be actually pretty decently hard to beat, especially if you are lacking in some good um, weapons that have the different elements but there's almost always an exploit how to kill the boss at the end of one of these nightfall strikes i mean i know i always am posting uh different ways to kill the bosses on the nightfalls but at the end of the nightfall you're going to get purple or better no matter what now unfortunately one of the things you can get as a purple is ascendant materials I did the Nightfall three times this week and twice I got Ascendant Shards and I was in the lobby, one of the people I played with got the Hawkmoon exotic hand cannon so I'm a little bitter about it but the Nightfall has, I've heard, up to a 30% chance it will reward you with an exotic for completing it. And again, the Nightfall and the Raid are both one of those things where you can only do it once per week per character so by having a second character you are literally doubling your chances to get exotics. Now the fourth most likely way is just from engrams. With the new update, purple engrams are always going to be purple or better. Now how to kind of maximize your chance of getting purple engrams? Well, it's so random, but there's a few things that you can do to kind of a little bit increase your chances. Firstly, just doing the weeklies uh, are going to reward you since they now reward you with 
Cryptarch engrams, which Cryptarch engrams are a fancy way of saying blue or better engrams. By beating a weekly on 28, you were rewarded with three Cryptarch engrams. I did it one time, and two of them were purples. Now, another great way, which I've just started doing, is by leveling up your Cryptarch rating, he sends you a Cryptarch package in the mail, which often contains a purple engram. Now, what you should be doing is if you have multiple characters, Every single time you get an engram, put it in the bank. Then you decode every single engram with only one character. What this is going to do is that, and again, I started doing this, you have one character, and since he's decoding all engrams from all potentially three of your characters, he ranks up his Cryptarch rank extremely fast. And so you're going to be getting a lot more Cryptarch packages more often. Now the fifth best way to get exotic gear is from the Crucible. Now this is not recommended, I'm just listing off all the different ways. The first four were decent tips, this is just, you have a completely random chance to get an exotic in the Crucible. Utterly random, there's no point in trying to do well in the Crucible, cause it will com it's just so random. So literally, play the Crucible, tape your controller, run against a wall, it doesn't matter, you have the same chance as getting an exotic as the first place player, but simply playing the Crucible at the end of every match, everyone who played does have a small chance to get an exotic, so if you like Crucible, it is worth playing. Now the least most likely way to get gold gear is during the strikes, especially Vanguard Tiger playlist, which is the level 24 strike playlist. Now. With the new update, it seems that people are actually getting gold at the end of strikes with some decent regularity. I've never got one, I've never seen one, but I've heard about it quite a few times. In fact, I was in a party with someone who's like, oh great, the other two people just got icebreakers. And I was like, wait, you must be playing the Nightfall. He said, no, I'm playing Vanguard Tiger. So it's definitely worth it if you have nothing better to do, playing Vanguard Tiger. It definitely seems like there is a decent chance to get gold gear. Now that's pretty much how you get gold gold gear in destiny what i would recommend what i do to maximize my chances of getting gold gear is i start out again i have three characters that can pretty much do everything the first thing i want to do is i try to accomplish the raid three times now that's pretty annoying uh and definitely pretty tedious but is going to maximize your chances of getting gold i like to do the raid three times one in each character I do the nightfall three times and I do the weekly three times. That's pretty much it. Now, those are by far the best ways to get exotics throughout the game. If I'm going to do anything else that week, I often do the dailies. The dailies can now give you cryptarch engrams, which again have an okay chance of being purple. And then I just spend my time on Vanguard Tiger. Uh, the reason being is I'm not a huge fan of the Crucible. If you like the Crucible though, it's probably the same chance of getting exotic as Vanguard Tiger. So you can split your time or spend all your time in one or the other. I hope you found this video helpful. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more Destiny content. And as always, have a good day.